welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now, if you can hear some pattering going on in the background, it's little Teasel who is uh, going around the room trying to find her dad because Tim's gone off shopping. Okay, where am I taking you today? Well, the bell is ringing out uh, for Henry VII because it's his reign that we're going, going to today. For on this day in Tudor history, the 28th of November, 1499, Edward Plantagenet, who was styled Earl of Warwick, was executed by beheading on Tower Hill. Now, Edward was born in February 1475, and he was the eldest and only surviving son of George, Duke of Clarence, who was, of course, the brother of Edward IV and Richard III. Edward's mother, George's wife, was Isabel, daughter of Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, a man who was known as the Kingmaker. Edward IV stood as little Edward's godfather and proclaimed the infant Earl of Warwick. His father, the Duke of Clarence, was attainted in 1478, and so Edward's inheritance, the Warwick lands, were seized by the crown. Of course, uh, George, Duke of Clarence, died in kind of, uh, well, bizarre circumstances, said to have been drowned in a barrel of Malmsey wine. In 1481, Edward's wardship was granted to Thomas Gray, Marquess of Dorset, who was the eldest son of Elizabeth Woodville um, by her first husband. Of course, Elizabeth Woodville went on to marry King Edward IV. Little Edward attended Richard III's coronation in July 1483, and he was knighted in September 1483 when King Richard III's son, Edward Middleham, became Prince of Wales. As Edward, Earl of Warwick, was a potential claimant to the throne, he was kept in custody at Sheriff Hutton. He wasn't a prisoner as such, but he was kind of kept. Uh, Sheriff Hutton being a property that was owned by King Richard III. On Henry VII's accession, he was moved to the Tower of London and kept as a prisoner there. Chronicler Raphael Hollinshed records that the Earl, almost from his tender years, was confined out of all company of men and sight of beasts insomuch that he could not discern a goose from a capon, and that he was a very innocent. Hollinshed states that the pretender, Perkin Warbeck, who I spoke about on the 23rd of November, I think, who was imprisoned in the tower in 1498, corrupted his keepers by false persuasions and great promises, and that in 1499 they plotted to free Warbeck and the Earl of Warwick, who did not himself seek his own death and destruction, but yet by the drift and offence of another, he was brought to his death and confusion. According to Hollinshed, Warwick, who wanted his freedom, assented and agreed to the plot. The plot, sadly for them, was discovered, and on the 21st of November 1499, Warwick was arraigned at Westminster before the Earl of Oxford, High Steward of England, where he was accused of conspiring to depose King Henry VII. Edward was condemned to death and executed by beheading on Tower Hill on the 28th of November 1499, this day in history, although some sources say the 29th of November. This was five days after Perkin Warbeck was hanged at Tyburn. Now, Warwick may have been involved in Warbeck's plot, but there's also another factor in his execution, and that is his Plantagenet blood, his claim to the throne. The marriage match um, was being a marriage match was being negotiated between England and Spain at the time, and Raphael Hollinshed states that Ferdinand II of Aragon, father of Catherine of Aragon, would make no full conclusion of the matrimony to be had between Prince Arthur and the Lady Catherine, daughter to the said Ferdinando, nor send her into England as long as this earl lived 
for he imagined that so long as any Earl of Warwick lived, England should never be purged of civil war and privy sedition. So much was the name of Warwick in other regions had in fear and jealousy. So there might have been some pressure on Henry VII to deal with this, uh, with this claimant who could cause trouble. Whatever the reason, Edward, Earl of Warwick, this potential claimant to the throne of England, was executed on this day in 1499 at the age of 24. He was survived by his sister Margaret, who had married Sir Richard Pole in 1487. Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, was herself executed by beheading at the Tower of London in 1541 in Henry VIII's reign after being attainted for treason, accused of aiding and abetting her son, Cardinal Reginald Pole, who in turn was alleged to be planning to marry the King's daughter, Mary, and to restore papal supremacy in England. So those with Plantagenet blood came to rather sticky ends. So that was um, on this day day in Tudor history in the reign of King Henry VII in 1499, the execution of Edward Earl of Warwick. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live and you can of course give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.